Hi guys, it's that little Asian kid here, and I have another video tutorial for you guys, and it is the one that you have all been anticipating, waiting for another synonym for anticipating or something like that. Um, yeah, it's the second part to the Minecraft Cinema 4D animation, and I will start off by apologizing for not putting up videos. Basically, my laptop stopped working, I couldn't record. Uh, I'm doing my GCSEs right now, it's my first year of GCSEs right now, so... It's kind of hard, but I'll try and get a video out for you guys every week now. And I know I said in this video uh, that I was going to show you how to do your character rig, but it was a long while ago when I did the last one, and I have a much easier way for you guys to make landscapes, and they'll do the rig one within the next week after this video. So don't worry guys, you'll get that video soon, but this is a very helpful tool, because what it does is it converts you, you can basically change your Minecraft world into Cinema 4D, file or something like that okay what we do is you you need to download this free piece of software great piece of software called mineways just google it or yeah google it i'm pretty sure you can go to mineways.com but i'm not sure and here's it lets you do stuff like this and you do you do you do you do you can just do download for pc download for mac whatever don't need to see any of that so you can support them if you want donate some money it's a very good piece of software <coughs> and then I can close and then you download that and you get this icon and you open it up and you do and then right, another thing you need to do is most people most of you know how to get to your minecraft.jar folder but just for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to show you how to you can go to your minecraft.jar folder and find your terrain.png uh, but I am just going to get it from here just so you guys can see. Uh, let me just find the right one, which is the, I read that's the normal Minecraft one, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Just making sure. Yeah, that is the Minecraft one. Normal Minecraft one, I mean. And then you're just gonna do save images and save it where I'm going. You can probably find it in your, um, Thingy, uh, in your minecraft.jar folder but you have to save this one you can put this saved it's pretty easy and I'm gonna go to my desktop and I have made a convenient little folder called tutorial and I will save my terrain.png in here and I can close this now and close that and we do file open world and you select your world and I'll click my world and here is my world One second. And basically, you hold right click and you drag around the area you want. Okay, so there's my house there. And and then you just do OK when this message pops up. And then you do File, Export for Rendering. And I'll just save it in this uh, folder and just click Save. If my laptop works. Yeah, and you name it, I'll just name it World. You click save and now <laughs> this is the fun bit. You have to change all of these settings. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm playing with you, man. Yep, all you have to do is press OK. Oh, yeah, and <laughs> my bad. Yeah, you go to file and you have to do select terrain.png and you have to load up your terrain.png and then you do file export for rendering. Just do save. You do OK. And it saves it, and then you can close this. And now, what we do is we open up this, and it gives you all this stuff, which is kind of confuzzling if you ask me. And you just load this up. Open up some 4D. <laughs> it's taken a while and I apologize for my bad attempt at making music. I just full screen this and Cinema 40 seems to be loading. Hmm. Yep, I think it's up. Cinema 40 and what you wanna do is your small screen this. Whoop. And you wanna get world.obj you just drag that into here 
and scale you can ch do yeah uh, yeah and you change the scale to a hundred meters hey uh it's yours won't change that though you might have to make it a bit bigger and then and then you get this and what you want to do with this is okay you might want to make this a bit bigger all in all one second oh sorry Uh, no, forget that. Um, yeah, you get this, and then you wanna click this and shift, and shift and click that, and then you do texture. Then you click this button, and wherever you saved it, you will get all these three things. You get the alpha, the RBG, and RBGA. And you wanna click the RBGA here, uh, and then just do yes, and then that textures it. But as you see. You uh, for uh, for starters, you want to make the sampling to none. So because normally it blurs it, and you just want to change that to none, and then you leave the rest of that stuff as it is, and then you see you get this. Now if I zoom in a bit, I haven't used Cinema 4D in ages, so I apologize for my poor Cinema 4D skill, and if I render that out. That is what you get. See, and this is how you transform Minecraft world into Cinema 4D, basically. But what we want to do, okay, I'm just gonna drag something in because it's kind of annoying me. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, floor, and I wanna drag in a sky, just because it annoys me sometimes. And where's the slide there? Uh, and yeah, there you go. You have that. But as you can see, look, all these things still appear black. And that doesn't, and so you need to fix that. See, but all your normal textures come up properly apart from that. So, what you do is you click this and shift click, hold shift and click, that's left, or you can just press click on one and press control A, which selects all of them. And then you want to click basic and you want to tick alpha, which is transparency. And then you click alpha here and you click this and you just click the RBGA again. Yes, and now as you can see, it's transparent. Now, if I, oop, if I Turn this a bit, as you can see, there's a bit of that tree. Tiniest house ever, it's just a world I made quickly just for this. Uh, let's just zoom into that a bit. And, and then we'll render that out. And there you have it. That is how you get a basic thingy into Minecraft. Wait, let's just see the front of the house, see how beast my house is, because this one that I made ages ago in a world that I never really used. There's a door and there's a chest. Shall we zoom into that bit? Yeah, I'm using the trackpad, so it's kind of awkward to do what I'm doing. And then you just render that out. And it's as simple as that. You can see the chest in there. All this stuff works. And let's see, there's your grass or saplings. There's your bits of trees. And it all works. You can add a light if you want. Just do light. Okay, and zoom out a bit. Sorry, I'm so used to having a mouse wheel, and right now I'm, I, I don't have a mouse because I've got a new desk and I don't have a mouse mat, so I can't use my mouse. And so, this is why it's really confuzzling. It's a very confuzzling time for me. And I think we need to drag it this way. Whoop. And this way, maybe. Okay, one second. I need to zoom out more. No, you need to know this way. So which way does it need to come to actually get a light on this thing? Okay, I have no idea what I was doing. I said. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing with light. Yeah, but you get the idea and you can play around with this and it all works. And then you can add a sky and you can you add a sky and a floor texture there and you can animate it which I will show you how to do in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my tutorials guys and watching my videos. It's greatly appreciated, mate. It's greatly appreciated. I just like can't let's let's look at the coal. What a wonderful mineral. Coal is that that is coal, isn't it? Yep, it is. I was right. And some gravel, there's some gravel there. Why do I go into doing these random accents, mate? I don't I don't even know, mate. Let's look at the bottom of it. And let's look into that. See, it doesn't take too long to render. What did I just do?
have no idea what I just did, but oh well. Let's see. Yep, there you go. And you see the car. It just renders very fast. So, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like the video. Give it a like, favorite, and a like. Combine. I just saw that in the comment. I thought that was pretty beast. I know the Syndicate project does flavor it, and that's pretty beast as well. But I'll, I'll go for like. Yeah, flight. So give the video a like, that is a favorite and like if you don't realize, and please subscribe guys, see this thing, I, uh, this is, I see, I need a, uh, I enjoy doing this, that's why I do it, but I need more motivation, and the other thing is the most, like when you, like, right now I've got 27 subscribers, I get happy when I see a new one, imagine me coming on, and, and, and seeing this 10 new, for example, I know some people consider that to be nothing, but I consider that to be a lot. That will motivate me so much because I have to learn all this myself first, so I'll get really into learning. And if it keeps growing, I will, I will learn it all myself and I'll bring you guys the 